Hello everyone. Welcome to DevOps Info channel. Today we are going to take a look at one of the automation tasks that we could achieve uh, using uh, Terraform uh, for uh, the conditional access. So as we all know, conditional access policies in Microsoft Entra is a crucial factor for ensuring that we have given the right level of security for our resources. So by automating this process with uh, any module, like in this example, it's Terraform, we can achieve a consistent version control and an auditable policy deployment. Uh, because with Terraform, you can deploy your conditional access policies as a configuration as a code. Uh, this means you'll be able to describe the desired state of your Azure AD, uh, the Microsoft Entra AD conditional access environment in Terraform configuration files, making it version control repeatable and also easily auditable. So uh, this would also really help in the ISO audit uh, process uh, in terms of the auditable policy uh, uh, reports and uh, showing all the, uh, the version controls. So uh, today in this video, uh, we will uh, take a look at a step-by-step -step, uh, guide, a uh, detailed walkthrough of the process uh, from start to finish of uh, how to uh, deploy the conditional access as a code in uh, uh, Terraform. So. Uh, Today, uh, the first thing is like uh, there are a few prerequisites that you need to be uh, you need to keep in mind uh, because uh, uh, this would be uh, deployed through uh, uh, like uh, yeah uh, the the Terraform. So the first thing is you need to download the Terraform module for Windows uh, because uh, in this example I'm showing you the uh, deployment through Windows. So obviously you have to go to terraform.io uh, and then you have to uh, look for uh, basically the downloads <coughs> excuse me it's already in the uh, downloads uh, location and you have to download the, the windows part so this is the first thing and the moment after you download the windows it's like uh, a local executor uh, which is terraform.exe so with this local executor terraform.exe you would be able to call any of your uh, uh, azure uh, uh, command lines uh, so like whatever the command lets you call, uh, if you have the local executor and then you have your Azure CLI uh, and Azure AD modules installed, uh, then it is uh, just going to uh, bring all of them uh, in your uh, 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 in your Visual Studio. So basically, like uh, once you download the Terraform.exe, you have to go to uh, location and then save the Terraform.exe. Like for example, I have uh, uh, yeah, this is a different file. I will show you. Uh, so basically in, uh, in this pc you have to yeah uh, in the c drive i've just uh, simply uh, have a folder called terraform and then i have uh, placed the terraform.x file uh, over here and later you have to uh, set up the, uh, the the environment variables to give permission to run the uh, terraform.exe uh, from um, uh, from this laptop so basically for that you need to yeah simply uh, go to uh, as you all know you just need to go to the properties of the my computer and then go to advanced uh, system settings you define the environment variables where your uh, terraform path is located so like uh, in my case like i have uh, mentioned c slash terraform because that's the location where i have uh, my terraform.exe located so this is very important so like only when you define then terraform is going to run if you don't if you have not defined in the local environment variable then it's not going to run uh, so and uh, post uh, this part, um, you have to uh, create a location where you need to place uh, the terraform.tf file. I will talk about that. Uh, and uh, there are also a few other uh, uh, like uh, uh, prerequisites, like uh, you need to install the uh, Azure extensions in the Visual Studio code. Like uh, uh, you need to go to the extensions, uh, look for the uh, Azure extensions, and then uh, download the Terraform, uh, install the Terraform extensions as well. Uh, that's also very important. Uh, you have to uh, download the Terraform, in, uh, uh, like enable the Terraform extensions and also the Azure extensions. Uh, so make sure that you have to install all of uh, all of those parts. And uh, later, uh, you have to create a full. Uh, you have to create a file called main.tf. Uh, that's the place where you are going to uh, place uh, the actual uh, Terraform that you are going to execute. So um, it's just simply like you're creating an empty file. Um, you, you, like you can create a notepad, uh, just uh, uh, like main dot, uh, t and then rename it to main.tf and then you're going to place it over here. And uh, 
and the next step is like uh, you have to uh, like you know uh, this is the the resource for uh, the azure ad conditional access policy uh, it's there in the terraform uh, uh, website itself you just uh, uh, google and then you'll be able to find and i will also paste this link in the video so uh, basically uh, you know like if you see an example usage they have the, uh, the example where uh, you have to paste this uh, terraform uh, tf file into the location where you have uh, saved the main.tf in your case so uh, this is just one example like uh, it also has the prerequisites you could see like the api permissions are required in order to use this resource because when you run the terraform from your uh, um, from your computer from your laptop it is going to be as a local executor uh, through the uh, uh, terraform.exe and uh, it requires the permission to uh, take that uh, particular action and one important thing i wanted to highlight is like uh, the account that you have needs to have a, a minimal uh, permission of the conditional access administrator account in order to create the conditional access policies and it needs to have the azure adp2 license assigned uh, because without the azure adp2 license uh, it is not going to work so uh, yeah you need to make sure it has the right rules assigned for it and also it has the azure adp2 uh, uh, license also assigned um, and uh, yeah so it is also mentioned there are two ways to run it like if you're running with the service principle then you need to have the policy read write conditional access uh, policy read all and if you're going to run it with the user principle then uh, yeah you need to have the conditional access administrator that that should be sufficient for taking care of uh, this task so and uh, you need to copy this and basically uh, you have to you know uh, uh, like uh, paste it in the main.tf uh, location and uh, post that uh, like you have to open the visual uh, uh, you know the visual studio editor uh, go and uh, open the main.tf file uh, over here and uh, yeah like once it is open like you have to open the the, the powershell uh, window in, uh, at, at the bottom and when you open it like uh, first thing is like you have to navigate to the location where you have the the terraform uh, file uh, located so like uh, in my example i have uh, already done it uh, multiple times so i'm just showing you i can also show it again so like uh, the the moment when you open the powershell terminal uh, you need to make sure that you are connect to uh, az login um, and also you need to make sure that you are also connected to um, yeah i have connected to az login and uh, after connecting to az login you need to also connect to azure ready connect as an azure ready so you need to make sure that you are connect to azure ready need to um, also make sure that you are connected to az login so post that uh, you need to run the command uh, which is uh, uh, required to uh, deploy uh, which is called uh, terraform init so uh, init so like uh, when you run the terraform init it is basically initial initializing the provider plugins and one more important thing i wanted to tell you is like uh, the the code which is uh, explained over here they have not added the, the the resource providers because here it is it just start from the resource but you need to give the resource provider from where you are going to create this so in that you need to add an additional block uh, like which i will also mention in this video so like you need to start with terraform you need to add the required providers uh, which is azure ad and then you need to mention the source and the version so if you don't specify this it's not going to uh, create the policy so like uh, you just need to add this value before you uh, you know uh, run the terraform in it so the moment when you do the terraform in it it's uh, you know like basically uh, uh, initializing the uh, configuration and then it is going to you know uh, showing uh, it, it is going to show the uh, uh, the next step so in this uh, and, and the next uh, part is like uh, you need to run the terraform plan on separate terraform in it you need to run the terraform plan and when you run the terraform plan uh, it is uh, going to you know perform the following actions like in this case uh, you see what uh, uh, you see the policy what i have uh, it is going to write and then next it is you know uh, it will give us a message like you need to apply uh, you know it doesn't it is not going to deploy once you do a terraform in it and terraform uh, plan you need to do a terraform apply so the moment when you up, do the terraform apply uh, then it is going to uh, create the the you know the, the 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 conditional access policies and finally it will give you uh, you know uh, an option to say yes 
So the moment when you click on yes, uh, or the moment when you type yes, only then it is going to create the policy. In my case, you know, you see the Azure Conditional Access Policy example is created, and then it says apply complete. So resources one added uh, zero change in this one. Uh, so uh, once after it is created, uh, I just came here and see like the example policy one is created. If you want to destroy it, that is also possible. Uh, like uh, probably you can try to uh, run the command there are form destroy so the moment when you run it uh, it is going to destroy the resource that we created uh, through the, the terraform so uh, let's give it some time uh, yeah it's making some refresh we see that uh, and then uh, i think the id what it has picked up is the conditional access policy id uh, so it's uh, yeah working through the API. So here it is asking to yes, uh, to give a confirmation. So the moment when I click on yes and type, uh, it is simply going to, uh, you know, uh, destroy the, the Terraform that we, uh, the, destroy the conditional access policy that we created through the Terraform. Uh, but, but let's give it some time and see uh, uh, what is the result. So uh, it says still destroying the first line we got, uh, the message it says destroying and the second line it says still destroying yeah we see some delay um yeah 10 second elapse 20 second elapse yeah destroy completed so basically it took 28 seconds uh but not sure what's the the, the reason but uh yeah uh it could be sometimes uh slow in the cloud so yeah we'll see the refresh yeah so it's not there the conditional access policy uh, we created the test is not there so if you want to create one you can also go back uh, and uh, i have the name uh, for example let's give it a different name so in this case we have example policy one let's give it example policy two and then going to save the main.tf file and we are going to run it so which is going to be terraform always you have to start with terraform in it which is the initialization so it's completed initialization the next thing is we are going to do the terraform plan it's successfully uh, doing the terraform plan uh, let's see it's uh, yeah so here it's asking to do the terraform apply so we need to do the terraform apply after the terraform plan so i'm going to give the terraform apply Let's give it some time and see uh, what is the, the result of it. Yeah, so here it's asking us to give a confirmation value S. I've given a confirmation value S. So at this time, it is going to uh, create the conditional access policy with the name example policy two. So uh, we got the line which says Azure conditional access policy example creating. Uh, let's give it some time. Uh, yeah, uh, I see some delay. Uh, yeah, but yeah, you see 14 seconds it's created, which is really great, right? So uh, uh, like uh, if you if you define the main.tf files uh, exactly, and then you just uh, go with the Terraform, it just get the conditional access policy in 14 seconds. So let's go to the, the policy. Let's do a refresh and see what's the result. Yeah, here we go. The example policy is created and the state is turned off because we have defined the state is uh, disabled. So if we make it enabled, of course, it is going to do the same. So all these values, whatever you want, the display name, the state, the client apps, um, the applications, include applications, all the devices, the locations, uh, the platforms, users, grant controls. So all these things you'd be able to define, like whatever you want to define uh, in your uh, conditional access policy, then you would be able to uh, do that uh, effectively and efficiently and efficiently uh, by using the uh, by, by using the terraform uh, uh, basically uh, so uh, overall uh, you know like i would say uh, like you can automate your policy deployment of the conditional access uh, policies and configuration uh, which will drastically reduce the manual errors and ensuring that the consistency is present across uh, your organization um, and uh, of course terraform also allows you to do update and rollbacks to your conditional access policies uh, by simplifying the management of the access rules uh, and uh, 
and one more thing like you can also you know like since the terraform configurations are text based files uh, you can obviously uh, define the conditional access policies using the code repositories and version control systems which is uh, really good and of course terraform can also be integrated with ci cd pipelines allowing you to automatically apply the changes to your conditional access policies uh, uh, when any new configurations are committed to your code repository so in summary uh, the terraform for conditional access deployment uh, helps uh, you know uh, an efficient and re reliable way to uh, manage the access controls within your uh, intra id environment uh, and also it promotes the automation and collaboration uh, making it easier uh, and you know uh, maintain consistency and it is also going to help you in the uh, iso audit uh, 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 reviews uh, by having you know like you have the version control you have the proper control for your uh, conditional access deployment uh, that's all i wanted to give you uh, initial overview of deploying the conditional access uh, through the Terraform. Uh, hopefully we'll have one more video where we could explain of, uh, you know, like a uh, uh, little bit more about what uh, else we can do with the, uh, you know, the Terraform and the conditional access policy. Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, thank you.